Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. As always, I am Technomagus and we are now on day two of Super Metroid Redesign Axial Edition. So, when we last left off, we picked up Wave Beam and Speed Booster. Now, it's time to wander around aimlessly as I try to remember where to go next. Though, there are a couple of things that I can pick up at this point in time. Oh, hey, giant side hoppers aren't so scary when you're in speed boost. Alright, anyway. Uh, one of the big things that I can pick up right now is X-ray scope. So let's go ahead and get on over there. Um, X-ray's position has not moved from the original redesign. It's actually easier to get to now, which is nice. I guess there are some small favors. Unfortunately, uh, the change to the water physics makes it annoying to move. Alright, let's... of other things we can get at the moment on the way to X-Ray, so. For example, there is a Guardian up here. Actually, no, this is the shortcut. Um... Oh, right, Sidehopper. Alright, we're not going that way just yet. <laughs> oh yeah, that. We're coming back for that with after gravity. Actually, wait a minute. Is that a missile gate, or is it a power, power beam gate? It's a power beam gate. No, no, it's a missile gate. Yeah. Uh, this requires freezing fishes to use as platforms. It's not worth the effort at this point in time. Once we have gravity, suit, and freedom of movement underwater, then it's something to consider. Alright, so right here are a bunch of speed booster blocks. So the goal is to get build up a shine spark and get to that top pl middle platform, because guess what? These platforms are not speed booster blocks. So let's get that out of the way. And that. Oh, right. Immunity to beams, because... I don't know why. Alright, anyway. And that's not what we do. Try this again. Uh, you only have about four seconds to... Uh, before the Shine Spark wears off, so... Missing the Shine Spark makes things a little more difficult than necessary. Good thing there are refill bugs. You're going to let me use Shine Spark straight up from a jump, but not horizontal. Alright, I see how it is, Drew. Alright, give this one more try. I'm really bad at this, if you couldn't tell. Whatever. 
Wasn't that important in the first place. We can always come back later. Okay, so now that I've lost an excessive amount of health trying to fail spectacularly at Shine Sparking, let's go ahead and get over to X-Ray. No, first... Oh wait, I already grabbed that, never mind. Alright, and this is why I blew up those power bomb bricks earlier, because X-Ray is right down here. Behind a purple door. Those oh so wonderful purple doors that have absolutely no reason to cost so much ammo. There's way too many of them. I wouldn't mind it if there were, like, maybe three or four, like, maybe one before every major boss, but not this many. All right, anyway. Now that we have X-Ray Scope, we can pretty much find out most of the secrets. I don't believe there are that many full X-Ray uh, hidden items and areas, but... Knowing Drew and his absolute disdain for speedrunners and sequence breakers, I would not be surprised. Did I get that already? Yes, I did. Okay. When in doubt, safety save, because some bullshit's about to kill you. So our next goal, now that we have Wave Beam, X-Ray, and uh, Speed Booster, is to head over to the Lost Caverns, or lower, uh, lower Criteria, or rather the Criteria Depths, so that we can get to the Lost Caverns and find Fantoon kill Fantoon so that we can get Gravity Suit after an enduring and excessively long underwater segment suitless. You know, just like in the original redesign. And actually, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and grab a new beam. Um, unlocking that for a little bit later. Ow. Okay, Samus. Ah, 
And right up here at its original location is Spazer. Which has an incredibly high rate of fire, um, much better compared to the... Uh, a much better rate of fire compared to I Ice Beam. Don't know why it's so slow, has no reason to be so slow. Even when combined with other beams, it's really slow, but whatever. Alright, anyway, time to head over to the depths. So the depths are in the relatively same place as they were previously, through these speed booster blocks. Actually, oh, alright, let's see if we can somehow get a speed boost. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh no. No, you are not a slope. No, you're just gonna be not worth it. There is probably something behind those speed booster blocks, but let's see if there's a place to charge up speed boost up here, and of course there isn't. Be convenient. Yeah, they pretty much do, Leno. Purple door. Sure. Let, let's waste all of the ammo. And it's a shortcut elevator. Where does it lead? Oh, it leads to Norfair. Um, it leads to Lower Norfair. Well, well, all right, that was a complete waste of time. That's awesome. <laughs> hmm. Suspicious blocks are suspicious. wall jump off. Really? Alright, am I supposed to come back here with space jump or something? I guess so. Uh, yay, intuitive gameplay mechanics. Alright, anyway, where was I? I was doing... going somewhere. That's right, Lost Caverns. Can't go that way, because that's a green gate. 
significantly out of glitch range. And those are speed booster blocks, with no room to charge a speed boost. Maybe in the previous room I can somehow manage to pull one. Alright, well, that did not work. That did not work at all. I don't know why I was expecting it to. This is redesign, after all. I'm not sure which is worse. The fact that I have to kill these Kagos every time I come through this room, or the fact that they're actually a better refill than the refill bugs half the time. That was a spectacular failure. There we go. Really? Well, ammo's ammo, so... No. Okay! Well, that worked. It got me towards where I need to go, so... I will begrudgingly accept it. Of course, the obvious speed booster or shine spark uh, slot is not actually shine spark. a post fantoon door. And we still deal way too much damage. Oh yay, more purple doors to waste ammo on. It's another shortcut elevator. Where does this one lead? Oh, yay, back to... Oh, hey, this is a shortcut elevator I already accessed. Well, that's useful. Um, Actually, it kind of is, because I can go get a Norfair Guardian right now, but that would be an incredible waste of time, so yeah, no. I would rather have gravity first. I'll have to come back this way, though. If I even come back this way. Because as convenient as the express elevators are, the game has a very bad habit of putting you as far away from them as possible when you need to go somewhere.
And now for the slow, inexorable crawl through the water to try and make some semblance of progress in this video. Oh god, fish. Oh, hey, there's a missile there. And that missile's worth 10 because it was hidden in scenery. Yay! Oh, jeez. Oh, that was... unnecessarily close. It is, but I can't remember if there are any other, uh... Well, it's faster firing, so that is worth something. I can deal a lot more damage with Spazer than I can with uh, Wave in the same amount of time. And also, both beams hurt crabs. Oh god, Samus is so slow in water. Uh, I think I can switch back to Spazer safely, though. I also can't actually go this way, because it... Yeah, walls. Unlike in the original redesign, you can't actually wall jump while underwater anymore. So progress is incredibly slow! despite the fact that maximum underwater movement speed has been increased. This whole venture was a complete waste of time, as is most of redesign, unfortunately. God, it's like I put the emulator into turbo mode after getting out of the water. supposed to be going? I don't remember. Well, refill station is appreciated. Uh, let's see here. What is down here? Not the way I want to go. Oh, hey, there's a power bomb over there. Oh, yeah, that, that's a whole morph ball maze that hasn't been changed from the original redesign. No, we're not doing that. And super missile blocks, so can't go that way. supposed to be going. 
And it's not this way, but I'm going this way anyway because it's the quicker way to get back. That's right, I need to shine spark through the... Which is actually easy enough, because I can charge a boost in this room. Provided I get enough running speed. And provided Sam decides that she wants to spark horizontally. There. What? Okay. So, now that we're back on the correct track, after an excessive amount of time wasted doing literally nothing, but wasting ammo... We have finally entered the Crateria Depths. And as we slowly drown Samus in the mur in its murky waters. Let's see. Need to go this way. Slowly. And of course there's a purple door. Why wouldn't there be a purple door? And hear that sound? That's the wonderful sound of ninja pirates. Underwater. Because for some reason, Drew thinks it's a good idea. Enemies that deal 50 damage per hit underwater when your maneuverability is limited at best are a good idea. Oh no, no, no. The best idea is coming up later. 
if I ever get to it. This way. There you go. Have to let go of jump before you reach the height of it so that you can slip underneath that platform. Subwriting E. So what's the E stand for? Excruciating? Because if one set of underwater ninja pirates wasn't enough, guess what? You get to fight another. Oh, and be careful, because you can fall uh, going out of that door if you're going too fast, and you will fall all the way back down and have to go all the way through those rooms again. Like I am about to, apparently. Oops, too many. Alright, we are almost to the Lost Caverns, finally. Safety save. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back, I will be running through the Lost Caverns and fighting Fantoon. Probably multiple times, so stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in a little bit.